Okay, so it seems like we got a lot of people in denial about how the Wii U is going to have games that look better than PS3 and 360. So I'm going to give you the seven reasons why Wii U games will look better than 360 and PS3 games. First up, we have common sense. I mean, come on, it's more powerful. And the funny thing is, even if it wasn't more powerful, even if it had the same exact specs as a 360 or as a PS3, eventually the games would look better. The more you push the system, the better the games look. This is just common sense. And it's kind of funny because uh, I was in a Skype chat a while back and BG told me, Broken Games told me that he believed that there wouldn't be one game, any games, on the Wii U throughout its entire lifespan that looked as good as God of War 3. Yeah, I laughed for about five minutes straight. Next up, we have Disk Space. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, well, it, the PS3 uses Blu-ray. Yes, it does. But the fact is, the large majority of games that came out this generation were built with the Xbox 360 in mind. The Xbox 360 uses a standardized DVD. The Xbox 360 disc holds about uh, eight and a half, nine gigs. Um, and until up until recently, they had a uh, security measure, a kind of like a copy protection software on there that took up almost three gigs. So, for the most part, most of the games during this entire generation have been made with five and a half to six gigs in mind. With the Wii U coming out, with the using a proprietary Blu-ray disc, um, the single layer is going to hold at least 25 gigs. The next systems coming out from Sony and Microsoft are also going to use high capacity uh, discs. So, these developers are going to be able to, for the first time really, take full advantage of the superior disk space and the games are going to show a result of that. More RAM. The Wii U has a lot more RAM than either the 360 or the PS3. The 360 has half a gig of RAM that it can share between the CPU and the graphics chip at will. The PS3 has also a half a gig but it's split between the CPU and the graphics chip. The Wii U uses unified uh, RAM just like the 360 and has at a bare minimum a gig and a half. The more memory that you have, the more you can do with it. It's common sense, people. Common sense. Then we have eDRAM. We use rumor to have 32 megs of eDRAM on its graphics chip. The 360 had 8 megs, and that was a lot. That was a ton. And that's actually part of what put the 360 over the edge to make a lot of the first uh, uh, cross-platform ports look way better on the 360. That eDRAM helps out a lot, and they have four times as much eDRAM on the Wii U's graphics chip. The games are going to look better. Wii U has a dedicated audio DSP. Now, I get bet you guys are wondering what the heck does an audio chip have to do with graphics? Well, on the 360, the 360 has no dedicated audio chip, so they have to use processing power from the CPU to perform the audio duties. I bet a lot of you guys are like, well, so what? It's audio. It can't take up too much. It's just audio. Wrong. In fact, a lot of the uh, 360 games currently on the market take up to one core, one full core of the 360. A third of the power just for the audio. So having a dedicated audio DSP helps out a ton. And the Wii U has a tessellation unit. Now if you don't know the difference between a game running with and without tessellation, you might want to uh, check out videos on uh, Crisis 2 on the PC with with tessellation off and with tessellation on it's a pretty big difference and last but not least we have uh, the equivalent of DirectX 10.1 to DirectX 11 shaders now the Wii U by default is gonna have superior shader support 
by default. At the very least, based on the GPU is using, it's going to use a bare minimum of DirectX 10.1. The 360 and PS3 use the equivalent of DirectX 9. It's not rocket science, people. It has more memory, better shaders, and it's more powerful. The Wii U is going to have better looking games than the 360 and PS3 ever dreamed of. That is all. Have a seat.